guys, today I'm going to show you how to hook up a video transmitter to a video camera. So what you're seeing right now is everything that happened to come with this transmitter kit. So the box, the transmitter itself, some miscellaneous cables depending on what you want to hook it up to. And then you've got this rubber ducky antenna. Most people don't use this, they don't work very well. So as far as the transmitter itself, I'm going to show you the box here and some of the specs here. So it has 40 channels, runs off of 5.8 gigahertz. 200 milliwatts is the video output power. You also have 25 milliwatts and you also have 600 milliwatts. There's some transmitters where you can select the uh, output power. You can turn it on and off versus having it always on, etc. etc. But this is just kind of basic and this is a good one to start out with. And it's a good size too because you can see here this transmitter is a really small transmitter and this works perfectly for racing quads. Okay. All right, so the cable that I'm going to use is right here. So most people are going to hardwire it, but in this case, I've soldered in some plugs here just for my application. And you've got these two lines here, which I'm not going to use, is for audio. Okay, you can hook up a microphone to it if you want. Obviously, you'll need to receive the audio signal in your receiver and obviously you'll need speakers for it and all that, but I'm not gonna hook that up in this case here. What I'm going to hook up are the three lines here. You've got the yellow line, the red line, the black line, the yellow is for your actual video signal, red and black is for your power, okay? And so I'll go ahead and plug this in here real quickly. Okay, now I wanna show you the back real quickly here. You're gonna see these dip switches right here Okay, and these are for, for setting the frequency that you want the transmitter to transmit at, and obviously your receiving uh, video unit is going to match the same signal frequency. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, here's my camera. This is a common camera here, common form factor that you'd use for a racing uh, quadcopter and I'm going to actually just plug it in here and make sure that I am connecting it the right way so that the video meets the video, the red meets the red, and the black, the ground, meets the ground, of course. That's very important, of course, so you don't burn anything out. This particular camera here can accept anywhere from 5 to 22 volts. I know that with this video transmitter here, uh, I'm going to be hooking up to a three cell battery. I could also hook up to a four cell battery, uh, but this transmitter is capable of accepting anywhere from seven to 24 volts as an input. So a three cell or four cell battery is going to work just fine. Okay, so I simply have the camera hooked up now to the transmitter, and then all I need is power. So I've got this little three cell battery here. Now, normally you'd hook up for a racing quad copper, you'd hook up the power directly to either a power distribution board or sometimes you could hook it up directly to battery power, but I hook up to the power output from the power distribution board because it's regulated and filtered and you don't have potential issues with noise. Okay, so I'll go ahead and hook this up. And then very importantly here, you should have an antenna so you don't burn out the transmitter. So my bad right there, hook that up. You can see there's a light on there showing me that it has power. And then here's my FP goggles. I'm going to power that up real quickly here. Okay. Take the lens cap off. Okay, there we go. So, that's all you need to do. All right, now I do have the matching frequency set on my goggles here, so it's 46. Okay, that's it guys. Hope you found this helpful. Bye.